welcome guys welcome back to another episode of city skylines 2020 city <coughs> i'm a bit under the under the weather today like it's just yeah I'm a bit under the weather today so excuse my voice and if i snuffle any pregnant time during the video anyway <coughs> Well, we still got to record the video. Somewhere it's on fire. Why is that on fire? I had the game running like a good while before I started recording. Give me a second, guys. <coughs> yeah. I did a couple things like just thinking around with the um traffic and stuff like trying to fix the traffic because we have a good bit of traffic in it in the city all right that was weird like it was weird never tried to hold back a sneeze again <laughs> anyway so this episode we are planning to well as you can see it already has a park district here i'm planning to put the um amusement park right here <coughs> in this area uh, right so right here in this area i'm planning to put the amusement park let's get at that and then if you guys want to move on to another area to expand the city we are already getting close to 90k population we are already getting close to 90k so shouldn't be long And just got the achievement for having every single type of park in one city. Nice. Next thing is if we can get every single park to 5 star. Uh, small side gate. Sorry for the noise in the background. Um, <coughs> let's run this fence here. Huh. How oh, is that not? So wait now. I don't know what's with those trees, they tend to not have a collision box, 
so that when you build they don't remove themselves so like that tree in the middle of the road there <coughs> hopefully that is a mystery that can be fixed not much of sad zoning on this Why am I not got a nut? This is mud glitched out for a while, eh? So you have those things that's got some writing. This is gonna help us with getting some more money, even though we're already gaining a good, um, good bit of money <coughs> in the city. But it, uh, it should help us a bit. So anyway, I have to run power, I have to run water. Let's run that water quick here. <coughs> I wouldn't really check to see if there's any achievement for having a city with all well, other than all the parks, but having the city with all the type of parks at five stars. This is, I think this is the last park that I have to get the five star in order to get that. If there is even an achievement for that. <coughs> so, anyway. I don't know if this is a bug with City Skylines itself or if it's a bug with one of the Anarchy mods. It could be a bug with the Anarchy mod but I'm not really sure what, what's causing the... And it's only happening with this tree. This type of asset. And it has no collision when you are building. So the roads doesn't like the regular trees if you're building normally the regular trees would move themselves when you put down a road but this one tends to stay for some reason so if anyone, uh, any of you guys in the comments watching the video <coughs> right now any of you guys have any idea on what is causing that issue because I t I kind of have to go through the whole map Every now and then, and just rem what the frig? Even a garbage issue, that's strange, that just happened. Every now and then we have to go through the map and just remove a set of trees like this one, these two there. Oh god, that's annoying. You know what? 
I can in fact make that way easier. So many map, like seriously. Let's remove every single one. Right, so <laughs> now I don't have to worry about those trees for a while. Right, those fallen that fallen tree assets needs uh we, it's not interacting with the roads and the fences and stuff. Uh, in fact it's not interacting with anything that you can build with. That really needs to be fixed. That's annoying. <coughs> well guys as usual give me a second. As usual guys, the <coughs> transport hub is busy as usual, like it's, it's, it's really busy. Why did we drop to 5,000? Alright, yeah, we did have an issue for garbage up here. I don't know why we have an issue for garbage. It's like, really, why? Yeah, that's interesting. And simple as that it's solved. <laughs> Just needed some more production plants. It's, it, there's an issue where we where the garbage system can't keep up with the amount of production as you can see up there. We need to keep it within the green section so that we don't run into any garbage issues again. We have a couple um stuff around the city so it's not that all the garbage trucks come from one spot. It's all over the city. Let's see all the traffic on that, um, let's see the traffic on the hole. What was traffic doing? We were at 72% flow, traffic flow. Main traffic is just going into here. Hmm. I'm using pack just level it up again. So here is the main traffic bottleneck.
The next thing too is this road should be a two lane. Also, we have to put a crossing restriction on these. I know they want to cross from city to city, but area to area, I should say. But that's causing traffic with the cars. <coughs> they can't do to make that easy on. Easy on those guys, I can Well, they have a metro system, so why the cross and use the metro? <coughs> but I can make it a bit easier on them. But some pathways, pathways, pathways. So they should start using that now. Crossover. Because it's also people are from on this side that wants to get to the zoo. And people on this side that wants to get to the campus. And also maybe wants to get all the way down here to the amusement park. I will work in yeah, let's see if we can get the some more stuff in the amusement park. <coughs> My voice is cracking. And that's all we got. Um, just need people. We have enough entertainment. Next we'd be getting, what would we get next in the amusement park? A three stars we'd get a, be getting the boat, swinging boat. Yeah, no, I pronounced that wrong. Oh, so far wrong. And... Bumper carts. At the next star. At four stars, we'd be getting the drop tower. That's that's a very crazy ride. I've never been on one, but it's really crazy. I'm not going to be on one ever. I'm not up for that adrenaline rush. 
Um, we are also be getting the swing version. That thing. Five star we got in the Ferris wheel and the giant roller coaster. Hopefully we can get all of that in this episode. Hopefully. While we're waiting on that, I haven't seen much. Well, I haven't seen any trains. In fact, use the outside connection that I need. I don't know if they actually use the outside connections. If you make them join your game, <coughs> I'll have to check into that and see if there's any mods to get that to work. I really want trains to be coming into the city. <coughs> I can test another theory that. Right, I'm waiting for the amusement park to reach another star. We can in fact, as I said before, we can in fact um, build a separate city way down out, out of the way. We can start a city in this area. This can be a huge nature reserve like by these rocks here. That's online them one time. Oh, and I know Sports Monkey is probably gonna watch the video like <laughs> a couple hours after release or minutes, depending on what time I put it on. Um, <coughs> I don't know if it's the same for Xbox One Sports Monkey, but what I think is the districts, there's two different type of districts. I'm not sure if you really have to put the both districts on Xbox for the um, industries, but I know you can't put them together, they're two separate districts in it, technically. So, well... I wouldn't be too sure about um, Xbox anyway, so... I'm just saying, if you just see if you can try and put one district, like the industrial district, like how I have it here. The industrial area, it's not called a district, here. Yeah. That's that's the difference. The it's uh, that's the uh, right. These are districts, but the ones for the industrial and the park life DLC, and the campus DLCs are called areas. They gotta put it in a separate area. So it's a area and a district. That's the difference. I never really looked into that. And it was called something different from districts. So let's just outline that nature reserve. So, it's going to be a nature reserve, the rocks and stuff are going to stay there, just have it. The rocks are pretty cool. Uh, where are you going? I have to pause the map to um, remove some stuff here. So guys, by the time this video comes out, it should be today. Well, it's, so if it's not gonna come out today, it's today's video, Monday. Um, I'm not sure if I'm streaming tonight on Twitch. You guys can follow me on Twitter. I'll let you guys know if I'm actually streaming on Twitch tonight. If I'm not, I'd usually put out a tweet. If I am, I might still put out a tweet. I don't usually put out tweets when I'm streaming. I usually have a bot do that for me. 
but lately I haven't been streaming that much. Can make my custom intersection as some intersection somewhere. I myself have a few intersections on the workshop. Two or three or four I think I have. I think I have four. Four custom intersections on the workshop. So if you guys want to check out my workshop builds. I actually have one of my old series, the map from one of my old series. I did on my previous Steam account on the workshop so if you guys want to see or use my map that's when I did the um, industrial that's just when um, City Skylines Industrial came out the industrial DLC I actually switch back to my old Steam account to play the industrial DLC. Because I didn't have um, City Skyline set on this Steam. Uh, right. I'm trying to fit this in here. All the talking, it's, it's like really weird. Obviously, I'm gonna change those roads to avenues or something. We'll see. Once I do this, I can unpause because the. They now have a road to actually use, so I can pause it. So now we're going to do a kind of a modifying this um yeah that's a sneeze there um yeah, how are we going to modify this? Uh. I got those connections. It's probably a good idea to use the tree lanes for this one. Just realize I have my snap and, and guidelines and stuff off. So if I wanted like dead center, it should be like about it. Big sniffle there. If I get the timer, I'll probably, depending on if I get the timer, as I said, 
um, I think I'll time I'll probably do this and upload it to the workshop so that you guys don't have to go through the pressure that I'm going through to add this. So that's it's not that hard to connect it up. The hard part is I have to use move it. Oh yeah. It's really hard, honestly guys, it's really hard to record a video when your allergies are knock. It's like annoying. Why am I here and what, what was that? Oh my lord, yes. One of those trees again. As I said earlier on, I hear those trees. Just move it to get back the angle there. I hear those trees. Officially hit those trees. As you see, as I moved, it would move it. You see the trees adjusting itself to suit. But that one fallen tree would not do that. And that's an issue sometimes. And that one just disappeared. Now, for the kind of extreme, weirdly... They're kind of extreme and kind of weird at the same time, but yeah. How am I gonna do this? Lens. Okay, so let's think of how it operates when it's in the other one. Usually this one goes up there alone. <coughs> Usually this one goes... Mm, if you guys heard that one, ow, that was the most unexpected sneeze ever. Oh my lord. That usually goes that direction. We should go just that direction. Yes, yeah, so that's usually how it works. Usually it's two one way road, so we have to treat it. As this road is only going that direction, so he can only go that direction. Alright, so I just made a clover leaf junction, a uh, clover leaf um, intersection with an avenue, with a um, three lane road. 
So we're gonna extend that three lane road. No. About so 70 units from the initial start. Let's go a bit more than 70. Let's add. Let's add another 70 to that. So that's 140 units. If you guys are looking for the units, exactly how much. It's 140 from this point here. Let's take an avenue off of that. Down 90 units. See if I can get a 90 degree angle here. Well, let's have a bit. It's like one unit off, but it's good. Alright. that in half with another avenue. Now for our particularly weird and awkward way of oh, oh different wrong road. Wrong road. This one I meant to pick on. Pretty awkward, but very creative way of filling up the grids. This is a bit low density for now. So if you guys wondering why I always well try to when I do that kind of <coughs> areas, grids, why I always try to have at least one two connections to the outside roads is because e so it eases up traffic a bit when you have two connections to the main roads. So like how I have one connection here and one there. 
that would ease up traffic a bit because these roads go faster than the small roads. It's better than the more connections you have, the better it is for on the traffic system. If that is so too steep. Kidding me. Especially in areas that have like dead ends like how I have it, yeah. That's the weirdest connection I've ever done. That right there. We are now three stars. So before I move on to doing that, I want to actually get some zoning down here. Interesting zone in there. Also, if I finish off that, I want to stick in an airport somewhere. Because in the last episode we learned that the airports do interact with each other. If you have more than one in on the map, they do interact with each other. We learned that last episode. Um, so let's see if we can get a airport in somewhere here. I know uh, the, the terrain is not in my favor right now, but you can see. Alright, we gonna we have to go to the height of the junction there. This was the game so the game doesn't Bug out while I do this. It's only a small area. I don't know why I'm terraforming it so wide. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna add any other transport stuff down here. yet because this is like a whole separate city so I tend to go big when I'm terraforming Let's move them to through there. Now we don't have any water and stuff down here yet. Uh, let's find industrial stash offices. We do offices. I don't really want much kind of stuff on here so you do low density commercial it's mainly gonna be a low density area like a countryside to <coughs> the usual busyness of the city let's get some more water Connections. So I may mm, just have to connect the whole system up together. I mean, 
get rid of the city. It's gonna cost a lot to do that. Once you have these guys connected to the grid, it should be easy. Because I see we have a lack of water and stuff up there also. So having these water pumps down here would help the main city as well. well I swear that connected. city is not that far next episode we'll be focusing guys we'll be focusing on <laughs> the, the hillville as i call it and i think that was i can't remember which episode that was we did that little countryside hill village not around power a good on power we have Two huge nuclear plants, a uh, dam, and some other stuff. That decides not to work. I don't want to run the power through the um, nature resource, so I'm gonna run it near the airport here. While we're on the topic of utilities, we have to sort out the um, utility. We can add some more utilities. One should do it. Let me see if I can get this without collision. So that should do it for that. I saw so I don't see the city draw. Oh yeah, I have to. I forgot that I have to build um, hospitals and stuff down here. Kidding me. Anyway, when I put in schools and stuff, it should. Alright, so the city is growing decent. I haven't seen much residential down here, but it's it's alright. It 
see more offices than um commercial. And we're in a negative. Positive. Next episode guys will be focusing on building the nature reserve down here on this side. That's before I wrap up the episode, it's another long episode. That's before I wrap up the episode, we're gonna finish off some work on well adding a few new stuff to the amusement park. Three things you got. The swinging boat. House of horror. And the bumper cards. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed the episode today. Another long episode. We added a new city separated or countryside city separated from the main city. So if you guys enjoyed the series then know down below in the comments. Want to see more city scholars on the channel, drop a like and a subscribe. Hit that bell icon to get notified when I release videos daily on the channel. Also, feel free to hop across to my Twitch page, where my main channel is. My main channel is on Twitch. And drop a follow across there. See you guys.